we invite you to watch the video on the Aquaculture Farm channel. We developed a specialized cast net solely for targeting mullet and bunker. Working directly with some of the best fishing guides, we tested mesh size, sink rate and overall efficiency of the cast net. Each net is weighted to perfection in order to get maximum sink rates and hold your baits inside the lead line. We offer the most supple mesh in 3 quarters of an inch. It takes a speciality cast net to catch mullet efficiently and quickly. That's why we developed the Mullet series, made to target fast-moving bait. This cast net was designed alongside fishing guides that rely on catching mullet for a living. The Juju Mullet series gives one and done a whole new meaning. Sure, we could overbuild a cast net and call it the strongest cast net on the market, however that is not what it takes to outsmart mullet using our proprietary construction techniques. Our lead line features rectangular weights not allowing the baits to dip their noses to recipe. This lead line was also designed to tangle far less with a bigger mesh. Having the right tool for the job is the difference in throwing once and maximizing your catch versus struggling to get one bait at a time with an inferior net. With the Mullet series you can stalk the bait school, make the perfect throw and allow the net to sink confidently, knowing there is no escape. On any day during the spring, summer, and fall on the Gulf Coast, one of the most commonly seen sights is this, standing on a dock or bridge or even the shoreline. After a while he moves and then, in a very graceful fashion, throws the net out over the water. He retrieves the net by its straw tree. If the throw was good and the thrower was lucky, the net will contain a number of silver fish that will be immediately deposited in a nice chest. These silver fish mullet will become super. To cast net for mullet, first select the appropriate mesh size for the mullet you are trying to catch. Plan your approach carefully, whether on foot or in a boat, with the sun to your back, and remain quiet. That means throwing a perfect circle or pancake which allows the net to open to the full diameter, and maximizes your catch area. This can easily be achieved with practice. In fact, when I learned to throw a cast net I simply practiced on empty cans in my yard. Fluffy grass and old Pepsi cans work great as targets. Do some scouting in your area to find where mullet congregate. This is often in shallow muddy flats, estuaries or on the edges of coastlines, sandbars and inlets. Plan your approach carefully and quietly. Mullet can spook easily, and your first throw will always be your best chance before the school becomes scattered. But 
more important than the cast net size, is the user capability. It does no good to throw a 12 foot net if it's too heavy and you're unable to throw it effectively. No single cast net is primed for all targets and conditions. Multiple variables come into play when cast netting mullet, which will determine your net's effectiveness and should be considered. There is a viable cast net for different sizes of mullet, the depth you will be fishing, different weather conditions, and individual throwing skill levels and strengths. However, finding good places to net wood can be harder. Throwing a net over a rough and snaggy bottom is a good way to lose a net, or at least tear up a net. For best netting, the water either needs to be stained a bit, or have a bit of a wind chop to ruffle the surface and cut down on the vision of mullet. Oh! <laughs>